Okay, everyone, here we go. Let's continue on. Time for Showbiz Theater. We have our film expert, Jason, in the studio. Hello, Adrian. How's it going? I'm doing fine, thank you very much. I'm actually quite excited because every single week we talk about Korean films. Yeah, Korean films. I absolutely adore them and I feel incredibly honored to be able to talk about Korean films on this show. And the autumn season is actually fantastic. Many romantic comedies, right? Yeah, lots of romantic comedies to talk about. This, this season is traditionally very popular for melodramas or Korean rom-coms. All right, Jason, let's not waste any time. Please tell us, what is it going to be today? That's right, today's movie is Queen of the Night. Young Soo risks his life for a discount coupon and has never been in a relationship, and he is not interested in women. Plus, he's unattractive and an amazing timid guy. Now, he's been tricked. His wife, who he thought was a perfect partner, has a dark side to her. Hee-Joo has the perfect features, is an excellent cook and is fluent in three different languages. She is a top-notch wife. All right, now, Jason, Queen of the Night is actually a romantic comedy. It's uh, quite a famous genre here in Korea, right? Yeah, we've seen loads of romantic comedies. Mm. Uh, chief among them, of course, is My Sassy Gil, yeah. uh, which is an absolutely fantastic film. Well, we've seen many other films, like 200 Pounds Beauty. Um, it's a very, very popular trait, both in Korea and abroad. Mm -hmm. Now, this movie starts off with uh, a suspicion. Uh, basically, the husband starts uh, suspecting his wife. Why is that? He basically finds uh, a set of photos that are hidden in a toilet mm -hmm. and uh, he starts thinking, who is my wife? And then he starts, uh, with the help of his uh, colleagues and friends, yeah. tries to work out who she is, where she's come from. Mm -hmm. Now in this uh, movie we also have uh, Kim Min-jong and I heard there was uh, some kind of story uh, behind uh, her being cast. Yeah, she read the script and liked it and assumed that she was right for the, li right for the lead. I think she felt she knew she, it was for her. She knew it was for her, <laughs> um, which is interesting uh, because it's, uh, there's a lot of kind of dance sequences in this movie uh -huh. where she, she's the more kind of exotic dancer, okay. should I say. Uh, so it's interesting that she came up with that. Uh. What did you think about uh, her chemistry with uh, Chan jung myung in this movie? Is she a good actress? She is a good actress. Um, I know not everyone likes her, but uh, I, I think she does a a good job here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a, quite a demanding role. Uh, there are kind of two sides of her character. She's like this perfect, idyllic wife yeah. on the one hand, and then on the other hand, she's this dark kind side. Of dark side, where she dances around in nightclubs and uh, she's a party girl. Yeah, she's a party girl <laughs> and uh, very, very kind of crazy girl, I guess you could say. Okay. Now, um, in terms of you know the movie in general, what are some of the disappointing aspects? Disappointing uh, parts for me was it didn't really deliver anything new. The mm. thing is we've seen a lot of romantic comedies in Korea and uh, what we're seeing now is a more of a trend to have more honest uh, romantic comedies like yeah. An Ordinary Couple uh, which was released earlier this year. It was an absolutely fantastic movie um, starring Kim Lee. Mm -hmm. And this movie just is just too kind of uh, no. uh, uh, too silly that the humor isn't really uh, particularly original um, and I didn't really laugh. It's all a that bit much. dull. Yeah, it's dull. We, I mean, Dancing Queen is a much better movie with a very similar premise. Someone, a wife who uh, kind of moonlights as a, uh, as a dancer and then you've got a husband who has no idea what's going on and then realises towards the end that something's what right. she's been up to. Well, thank you for your honest comments. <laughs> You're welcome. Now let's talk about the actors. Chun Jung Myung and Kim Min Jung are actually getting back together after eight years, and uh, Chun Jung Myung is playing the role of Young Su. Uh, what kind of role is that? Uh, he's a bit of a dorkish guy, I guess. He doesn't have a clue about women. Mm -hmm. uh, it begins when he's in a restaurant and he's obsessed with getting a discount. And uh, so he runs back to the office and in the meantime, the girl's just gone and ordered everything in the, the restaurant for him. And so he's got a huge bill he has to pay. Um, and, but he, he soon kind of comes around to uh, find this uh, very beautiful and uh, intelligent girl and gets married and then discovers that actually she's not who <laughs> she seems to be. So so he starts suspecting her dark past. And, and what happens when he actually goes into her dark past? Well, he basically goes from nightclub to nightclub trying to work out who she is and then finds out who she is and then there's this So kind he of follows a, her? 
basically. Or well, he, he spies on her. Um, well, it's not really spying on her, it's, it's more about her past rather than the current life. Uh -huh. And so she's, he's meeting people that was related to her past. Interviewing them, asking them Yeah, yeah, questions. exactly, and going from nightclub and showing pictures and what have you uh, to various people. He finally works out uh, what she was up to and then they have an argument. That, you know, Do they separate? They separate. They have of, a divorce? Uh, I don't want to reveal, well this is a queer man of comedy, I mean, uh, okay. I guess there, there is only one. Well, what happens is he, they get divorced, and uh, not divorced, they get separated, okay. sorry, uh, kind of on a temporary basis, and mm -hmm. then they come together. Again, happy ending. Happy ending. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that's for Young Su, the role of Chan Jung Myung, right? Yeah. Okay. Jason, let's talk about uh, Kim Min Jong in the movie. She plays the role of Hiju, and so she's supposedly this perfect wife, but she has a very dark past. Yeah, so she's this kind of idyllic wife, so on the one hand uh, she has this immaculate apartment that she maintains and she's a great cook, she's also intelligent, she has a good job, she translates. And, she know, has everything. She has everything uh -huh. and then on the other hand she's got this dark past. Very wild. Flashback, you know, 10 years. Uh, the World Cup, for example, comes into uh, frame and okay. uh, that's when she was a bit more wilder and she would dance around and she would Jason. go to nightclubs and she'd be doing this. Actually, she's much better at dancer uh, than I am. What about Kim Min Jong's acting in this movie? Uh, you mentioned some dancing scenes. Yeah, she's an absolutely terrific dancer, and uh, she's got you know the perfect look for it, I guess. And uh, she, there's some scenes where she's dancing in mm. nightclubs, and uh, there's also a couple of scenes where she's dancing to win something. So okay. She's initially wins a kimchi fridge and then at the end of the film she wants to win, win a, a washing machine so she and goes so she and gets on the dance floor and starts dancing dancing competition well it, it's kind of yeah kind of a competition and so she puts her skills to good use uh -huh. and so she lets everyone just uh, <laughs> they just gaze at her how many points would you give her uh, about her overall acting in this movie um, out of a hundred out of a hundred uh, well, I do like not, what, not out of 10, so uh, I'll give a 6 out of 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 for her acting. Yeah, Kim but that, that includes the dancing. Okay. And so, yeah. <laughs> she, she's, I mean, she's okay, uh, nothing breathtaking, uh, but she's certainly the most attractive aspect of this movie, that's okay. for sure. Now Jason, I don't know about you, but thanks to this uh, movie here, it feels like romance is in the air. Yeah, the autumn uh, season or the fall season has that feel about it, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, that kind of romantic kind of feeling. It certainly does for me. It's uh -huh. more nostalgic than anything else, but it, it definitely has that feeling um, that we can feel. Yeah, and I like entertaining, you know, fun, light movies from time to time. Yeah, I mean, we have to have them. We can't always have serious of movies, course. otherwise we'd just be frankly depressed. Right? All right. Sounds good, Jason. Well, thank you very much for all your updates here on uh, this movie, A Queen of the Night. We'll Anytime. see you uh, next week again with uh, another movie. Yeah, absolutely. Lots of movies to talk about. All right, everyone. Everyone, that was Showbiz Theatre and Jason. We'll be back very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.